Hey bud, what's up? These masks are full of plastic, I don't know what to do with them, and my legs are tired. Hmm. Well, let's make a bench out of PPE. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Face masks have now become part of our daily lives and whilst they're obviously incredibly important, they're also causing a huge plastic pollution crisis. And according to estimates, globally we're using 129 billion disposable masks every single month. So that's three million every minute. And what a lot of people don't realise is that disposable face masks contain hundreds of thousands of tiny little plastic fibres. Once disposed, face masks will either sit in landfill forever, or littered masks will end up making their way into the ocean, affecting sea life, and ultimately entering our food chain. There has got to be a better solution. So to try and find it, we've teamed up with our friends over at Reworked to see if there's a good use for all of this plastic waste. Reworked are a British company which find ways to recycle materials that traditional curbside recycling can't. They've set up their Reclaim the Mask scheme, where they collect disposable masks, gloves and visors, sterilise them and then turn them into new things such as these 100% recycled polypropylene granules. Reworks have sent us 30 kilos of their granules to make something with. We wanted to make something a bit bigger than we usually do, so we decided to make a bench. So we've had some custom moulds made and we're firing up our extrusion machine from Plasticpreneur to see how well this polypropylene comes out. As well as the moulds, we've also had a quick release plate made, which means we can quickly attach the moulds to the extruder ready to fill. Once we've weighed out the amount of plastic that we need, we load it into the hopper and turn on the heaters to start melting. Before we turn on the motor, we preheat the mould a little using heat guns just to help the plastic flow a bit better. All of our experience with recycling plastic up to this point has been with HDPE, so we're pretty well versed in how that works, but polypropylene is a completely different plastic type, so this is going to be somewhat of a learning curve. Once the mould is full, we remove it from the quick release and just cool the end of the plastic to stop any escaping. We then set it aside for 30 minutes or so just to let it cool while we make a start on the second part of the leg. Each set of legs for the bench are made up of two pieces. The front leg is set at a right angle and the back leg and backrest are a single piece moulded at a slight obtuse angle. Because we want a flat end, we're using a stop block that the hot plastic can push up against. We can then flick off the motor and let this cool as well. Each mold is split down the middle so that we can Each mold is split down the middle to allow each leg to be demolded and then we can reassemble them for the second set of legs. The next step is to get the legs trimmed and assembled. We're using a design by Precious Plastic for this. If you want to follow the same design, you can pause the video here. But we'll also drop a link to the Precious Plastic how-to in the description below. We're cutting the angles that we need using our Triton miter saw, and after each cut, we're just removing the excess by hand. As always, we're being careful to keep all of our offcuts, as these can be shredded down and used again in future projects. So 
attach the front and back legs together, we're using a piece of threaded rod, but to make sure it's as strong as possible, we're cutting a shallow rebate at the connection point. The easiest way we've found to do this is to make several cuts with a circular saw and then clean it out with a chisel. Once we had a nice fit, we drilled a larger hole using a forcener bit so that the nut can be recessed in below the surface, and then we drilled a slightly undersized hole all the way through for our threaded rod. We chucked up the threaded rod in our drill, and because the plastic is soft enough, you can use it to tap its own hole. We also heated the rod up just a little bit with a blowtorch to make tapping that hole even easier. We've used this technique before in our HTPE recycle wagon video, and we were very pleased to find out it works just as well in polypropylene. The last step of the leg assembly was to use a deburring tool to soften all of those cut edges. Now that we've done that for both legs, it's time to sort out the slats, and we could use wood for this, but since we've got plenty of plastic, we figured we'd go for the 100% PPE bench. To make our beams, we used a mould which is made from steel box section with a quick release plate attached to one end. We fired up our extrusion machine again and used the same process as before to make a total of eight beams. The mould took around nine minutes to completely fill and about 30 minutes to cool before we could trim the end and remove the beam. When the plastic comes out of the beam, it has this really unique texture, a little bit like wood grain, but also with this sort of ripple effect. We did experiment with planing those beams down and it gave an incredibly smooth and consistently flat surface. But we felt it lost all of its character and also made a ton of mess. And while we obviously could keep all of those shavings and reuse them again, we thought we'd just save ourselves the extra step and just keep them as they are. So we took the beans back over to our miser saw to get them trimmed to their final length before getting the bench assembled. So the seat is made up of five beams which are spaced evenly using some scrap wood and then attached to the legs using some stainless steel screws. And the very final step is the backrest, which is made using the remaining three beams and attached in exactly the same way. So that is the bench completely finished, but before we show you the final results, we just want to take a second to tell you about this video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to inspire creative people. It allows you to delve into something brand new or learn more about a hobby you already love, but most importantly, it is a platform to inspire creativity. If you enjoy watching the stuff we do on our channel, then you might enjoy topics such as sustainability or how to start your own YouTube channel. The class we're currently enjoying is five advanced Adobe Photoshop tips by Tabitha Park. This has really helped us with some of those trickier aspects of photo editing, especially with YouTube thumbnails. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. This helps you stay engaged and focused and follow wherever your creativity may take you. To help you do this, the first 1,000 Brothers Make subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Right, let's go see how our recycled plastic bench has turned out.
So there is our finished bench. We love how the simple but effective design really lets the material do the talking. It's also been great for us to work with a new material. Polypropylene is very different to HDPE. It flows a lot better when it's hot, but when it's cool, it sets really hard and it tends to chip rather than flex like HDPE would. This actually made it an ideal material for the bench as HDPE would have sagged a lot more in the middle. While you can see there's still flexibility in these beams, when the weight is spread across all five, it's more than capable of holding both of us. We want to say a huge thank you to our amazing patrons. These guys support what we do every single month and help us turn our passion into a reality. If you'd like to join the Brotherhood, we have a number of different tiers with different perks for you to check out. We'll put a link in the description. We also want to say a really big thank you to Reworked for sending us this awesome material to experiment with. So whilst I don't think we're going to be making these benches for sale anytime soon, it was a really good proof of concept. And it feels good to know that there's 25 kilograms less plastic potentially floating around in the ocean. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.